On May 18, local time, ISRO used the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV C61 at the Sudish Dowan Space Center to launch the Earth Observation Satellite EOS 09, a radar imaging satellite. The satellite was planned to enter a sun synchronous orbit, but shortly after launch, the launch base lost contact with it, and the mission was declared a failure. Earlier, on February 10, ISRO also experienced a satellite launch failure involving the GSLV F 12 rocket launching the INSAT 4G communication satellite. Of course, this video is not to mock ISRO, but to rationally discuss the major issues facing Indian aerospace. If these problems are not resolved, accidents will become more frequent and numerous in the future. In January 2025, when India announced the successful completion of space satellite docking, I made a video accusing ISRO of exaggerating. The space docking failed and was delayed multiple times. And finally, when no one was paying attention, they announced success but failed to provide any photos or videos. Executing a mission in low Earth orbit without visual evidence is simply a huge joke. I also raised many doubts about India's so-called Mars exploration and lunar South Pole landing, believing ISRO is a habitual fabricator. However, my criticism was accused by Indian netizens of being racist, which I find hard to understand. Questioning the authenticity of aerospace activities based on information released by India is a scientific discussion. So how can it be called racial discrimination? The most essential feature of science is falsifiability, and what cannot be questioned is religion. For example, the high priest of the Bharat Empire, Modi, is unquestionable in the hearts of Hindu devotees. Although he has been in power for 11 years and made countless boasts, not one has been realized. However, during my debates with Bharat netizens, I planted a seed. I predicted that India would face significant risks and challenges in all verifiable space missions, with failures possible at any time. I also predicted that India's so-called independent manned space program, after multiple delays, would still be impossible to achieve in 2025. These videos are on my channel, and you can easily find them in the India playlist. Now my predictions are constantly being verified. In just a few months, Two serious launch failures show the extremely poor reliability of Indian aerospace technology. Even satellite launches have such frequent problems, let alone sending astronauts into space. At this industrial level, Indians are discussing manned moon landings. On PowerPoint slides, the Bharat Empire has never lost, but in reality, it is always brutally beaten by facts. Space technology is the pinnacle of human technology and the most meaningful exploration project for humanity, with profound significance for studying human origins and exploring the essence of the universe and life. In such projects, political and bureaucratic influences should be minimized, and projects should be driven by the spirit of science. Indeed, leadership in space technology can bring honor to a nation but this should not be a reason for data fabrication. Launching satellites only loses some money, but problems in manned spaceflight can cost astronauts' lives. As a high-risk profession, astronauts can sacrifice for science and national honor, which will become their eternal glory, but they should not lose their lives in vain for the vanity of certain politicians. India's continued fabrication in the aerospace field seriously tarnishes the noble attributes of this industry. In January's space docking mission, under strong questioning from netizens, ISRO still failed to release any valid video or photo evidence, but ultimately declared the docking successful. Such shameless behavior would not be accepted by the public in any other country. But in India, Bharat netizens celebrated wildly rejoicing that they had joined the Space Docking Technology Club. As a country that achieved space docking technology many years ago, we Chinese are deeply ashamed to be ranked alongside such a nation and voluntarily withdraw from the Space Docking Club and all other great power clubs to make way for the Bharat Empire. Speaking of fabrication, 
Modi rose to power as India's prime minister by fabricating data, creating a so-called Gujarat economic miracle. In his 11-year tenure as prime minister, India has achieved no major accomplishments. To deceive voters and maintain power, he and the BJP's mouthpiece media have hyped India manufacturing, the world office, altered GDP algorithms, included cow dung in GDP, and even after being thoroughly defeated by China and Pakistan in border conflicts, still declared victory and celebrated nationwide. Facing such a crazy world of lies, I can only say, I concede for the first time. Let us cheer for the great Bharat Empire. Jai Hind.